the output <laughs> is standard and the input is in metric. One's, one's metric and the other's fucking American. One's an M10 by 125 and the other's a 3 8 by 24. Hello guys and welcome back to the vlogs. It has been so long since I have been able to make a video. And before this video starts, I just want to explain, I just got married, for one. That's been taking up a lot of my time, planning the wedding. Then we had the honeymoon. And then, worst case scenario, my cat ate my computer charger, so I had to order another one, wait for it to come in, it came in, and it got busted in shipping, so I had to wait for it again. It's gonna be a fun day. Um, it's gonna be a difficult day. I've never done anything like this. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's take it one step at a time and see if we can get this done today or it may run into tomorrow. So, let's get started. So, today we are doing some work on surfing. Now, I have a drift event coming up next week. One of my gifts from Hunter. As you can tell by the title of the video, we are installing an e-brake handbrake today. Now, everybody's going to say shit about a $40 handbrake. That is understandable. If this does leak, from what I've read, I have seen mixed reviews on it leaks like crap, it works fine. If this master cylinder leaks, I will be replacing it with a, I think it's Willwood is how you say it. Um, I will be replacing it with that master cylinder. So, with all that said, I don't have a dual caliper set up. The bracket for the dual caliper is about, I want to say, $200, $300, and I don't have that money right now, let alone for another pair of calipers, another pair of brake pads. It, we're getting line, brake lines today and some hardware to bolt down everything. We're trying to make this as cheap as possible, thus why it's from eBay. So we want to show how much money we spend on this. Hopefully everything goes well and the e-brake works decently. So first of all, while I'm talking, you can probably tell that my audio has gotten louder through my voice and that's because for some reason behind the GoPro, the sound picks up better than it does in the front and I don't know why. I got to get a better GoPro, I know. I'm on a Hero 3 right now. <laughs> Bear with me. So the quality of this ships with plugs so it keeps it dirt free um, the threads look a little torn up so we might have to get a tap and probably tap those threads a little better and then um, it does look slightly adjustable I might lower it for my preference and then there's this little hook that works as a parking brake but we're keeping my stock parking brake because I don't really trust that I might just even take this little hook off so it's not in the way but this little grip, I'm not really too fond of. I don't really like how it feels. It's just kind of like, obviously it's eBay. It's really it's really cheap and it, it's flimsy and I, I just slid it right off. So I don't want to pull this and then this come off with it while I'm in the middle of a drift because that's how you hit a wall. So I'm probably just going to take that off, leave that there, maybe put something around this. I don't know, I kind of like that. It, feel, it feels, feels a little better than with this on it but that's just my preference. You guys can do what you want. Okay, so where I'm thinking of mounting this, some people mount it over here and point it towards them. I'm not, I don't really like that too much. It just, it doesn't feel natural to reach away from your steering wheel. So I'm planning on putting it around right here. That way it's out of the way of my steering wheel and it's out of the way of my shifter. Okay, so I plan on putting this somewhere down in the dash. Right here just feels a lot more natural just because I have the wheel right here. I can grab back onto it, go back, hit it, grab onto the wheel, and then shift if I need to really quick. So everything's right here. So what I'm going to do for filming purposes is pull the car out into the driveway. That way the sunlight's out there and it looks a lot better because past experience with filming in the garage like this, it's really hard to see the interior of the car and that's where we're doing most of our work. That 
that looks 10 times better. So here's my hack job on my, uh, this was my first modification I did to this car. Um, as you can see, it's a professional job. It's just, just some good wiring. So here's what we're going to do. That's so satisfying. This is what we're going to do. We're going to cut this off and make enough room for the e-brake to fit right down in here. Just an A1 job, bro. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta fix that so bad. That's so bad. Okay, so I'm trying to take the center console off. I don't know if this is gonna work, but there was two bolts here. Um, I'm missing one. There's another two up here. And then there's two back here. I gotta go get my socket for this one. And last time I tried to take my dash out, I mean, this centerpiece out. Um, I dropped that screw and I haven't been able to find it since. So, but this thing still doesn't want to fucking come out. And it looks like it's because of this. So if I break my dash, I'm gonna get it on camera. I really don't want to do that. That's not, that's not. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, 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 not doing that. Okay, um, I think we're just gonna take this off too, just to make getting back there easier. And just for those of you who wonder why I installed this, um, now I have twice as much room to work on this kind of stuff. And if I ever get racing seats, it will make getting in and out of the car much easier. And it's just cool. And it's a uh, theft prevention. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, okay. Yep. Let's just uh, let's just put this tape there. You didn't see anything. Okay. See, this is why I took this off so I don't break anything. You can see that these white these white things are clips, and what these clips are doing is holding this panel on and this panel needs to pop out for this to pop out that's why you go the extra mile and take apart more stuff than you need if you're asking what these wires are these are my leds under my car again a1 job boys as you can see from taking that piece off i found why it's not moving because of this bolt so if I would have just yanked on this and yanked on this, nothing would have fucking happened and I would have just wasted all that time. So if you think you need to do, if you don't think you need to do something to find something else, just do it anyway to make sure. Because that has saved me so many times. Send it! So if there's one on this side, that means there is one on this side. And this one's already popped out. Hey, that would have been nice to know when wiring these. Again, when I was wiring these, I didn't know those came out, so I wasted all that time pushing all of that underneath when I could have prevented it all. Just do more than you need to. It's not that hard. I saved myself probably 20 minutes of struggling and did it in five minutes just by taking all that off. So do more than you think you need to do. Hey! <laughs> Hunter is two hours late, as oh, normal. Shut up. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> what the fuck? Professionally done, right? <laughs>
And then after that, if I don't record anything at the shop, I'll go through it with you guys what we did. This feels so fucking weird for some reason. Nothing has changed besides the dash is out. I don't understand, but I like it. <laughs> Make a stop because I didn't have any turn signals. We figured out that the hazard button has to be plugged in for my turn signals to work. So we got that fixed. I'm gonna give you guys an update just because we're trying to get this done. We only have an hour before my grandpa leaves, so he's gonna do this for me. Um, and I really appreciate it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this grinder and we're gonna grind down the paint right here on the trans tunnel. Then we're gonna take this piece and we are going to weld it right here for the e-brake to sit. And then once that's welded, um, I'll be able to put these holes in before it's welded for the e-brake to bolt onto. And then from there, should be good. So that will be bolted, e-brake will be bolted on there. And then we just gotta cut up the dash to fit it. Yay! When sparks and flammable things are involved, be ready. You're really giving, you're really giving them a PSA? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> yep. And yes, yeah, no, 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 vertically, vertically. No, 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 uh, no, horizontally, but long ways. What? Oh. There. That's gonna be on camera, good. <laughs> I'm doing this because I think he forgot you existed. Oh wait, no, there he is. So, he made this. Goes underneath that, get welded right there. Not sure if we're gonna reinforce it afterwards or just leave it like is, so. Well, my car smells like weld now but we got that mounted in and that is where it's going. It's all coming together. To make mad skids. <laughs> mad skids, bro. Mad skids. Skids, bro. Like mad skids. Dude, do you like even vape? <laughs> so, what we've got now is we got this welded in. It's pretty fucking solid, actually. So this is welded in. We drilled the holes that we need for this to sit in. So this is going to go just like that, and then we have some bolts and some good nits that are in my door. What? Some good nits? Some good nuts? Oh! We're going to bolt this in right here, get that all fitted in and bolted down. <coughs> then from there, we're going to take our brake lines and run them through the car somewhere. Flare, flare, the, li flare the stock lines and connect our new lines to go through the hydro. That's why I'm here. So I'm not gonna record any of the bolting in of this because it's just it, it's bolting in. You're you're just bolting something in, and it's a piece of square stock, so that we can get in there and tighten it. So that's all that is. So we got it bolted in. It's a little. It's it's eBay. But oh well. That that it it fucking works. Um, I might put the little rubber thing back on because these are kind of sharp. So until I get something to cover that, I might just put the little thing that came with it on. Um, oh yeah, electrical tape the shit out of it. Oh wait, I'm not in gear. <laughs> so now we gotta lift up the car. Now that that's all bolted in, uh, we gotta see where our brake lines are and how we wanna do it and how we wanna route our brake lines through the actual car to get underneath the car. Do you watch Evan Shanks? No, I don't. Damn it. Jack surfing! Oh. Wow, that didn't go far at all. <laughs> <laughs> Low car problems. Holy fucking shit. I did. Shit. You wanted the Honda, you wanted the cool car. I just said that about a Honda. Yes, put that on record. Also, you gotta realize this too. You need to be careful when you go across the brake fluid. Because I'm fairly certain that your master cylinder, your clutch, is also like the driver's 
Oh, is it leaning? It's good. Okay. This wheel's off the ground. <laughs> well, if you're forcing fluid out of it, it should be fine. And again, this is where LEDs come in handy when working under your car. Okay, so what we're doing now is we found that the brake lines aren't 3 16 they are actually a quarter inch. So we got um, a we, we, got a, we just YouTubed it and never really went under the car and physically measured it. So now we're, we got to go back and return the 3 16 fittings that we got. We're going to try and make this a little simpler with quarter inch stuff because now we got a little glimpse of what we're actually doing. Okay, so after about three hours of running around with our heads cut off, ah! <laughs> we have gotten all the brake line we need. We have gotten all the right, correct fitting correct. that we need to make this happen. So what we got to do now is go to sleep. <laughs> what we got to do now is route the brake lines through the car and then cut the actual stock brake lines and connect everything together. And then we have the brake fluid that we need to put in. We need to bleed the brakes from here. Now we just got a bunch of shit to do. Fuck! <laughs> so all in all so far, I want to say roughly for brake fluid, for two things of brake fluid, all the couplings we got and the brake lines, it's been about $50, $50, 50 to $60, I want to say. Sure. Yeah, some, somewhere in there. To about be, maybe to, 100 with all the tooling. Yeah, with if all the- If you don't have the proper tools for it, you're probably going to have to buy them. Yeah, we, we had to buy a flare kit, a pipe bender. The pipe bender is not necessary, but it will make everything look a lot better. That's everything we got, plus all the hardware, so probably upwards of 120. So so about 120 in materials, and then the e-brake itself was 45, so just 100, about 160 bucks for everything so far. So what we are doing is trying to go up from the bottom of the car. We think we found a grommet. I'm not sure what it is. And we're not really sure right now, but if it's a grommet, I'll be able to go through the interior of the car that way. Bro. Um, Hunter has made it into the car, but not necessarily how we expected. Did I punch through the floor? <laughs> oh, right here. Whoop. Back in. Yeah. Well, what I was going through here, under the carpet, up this way. You just fucking cut your carpet like that. I thought you were gonna just do a little like no, slit fuck right that. There. Make it easy. Just straight up fucking. Yeah, make it easy for us to it work on this bitch. <laughs> cool, they're great. Why I recommended that? You can do this on your own, but look how nice that looks. Had a sex with that ninety. Okay. <laughs> just fuck it, brother. <laughs> no, no. So oh, what we're planning on doing, we got some of it bent. Uh, we're gonna thread it through here, bend it down. Oh no, we gotta take it out to bend it some more. Yeah. So, so we're gonna try and go under the e-brake right there and just down under the carpet, do a 90. So that's our plan, we're gonna try and do that. I don't want to keep unnecessarily bending these. Oh yeah, I know. That would probably do. That would probably work. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try and straighten this one out. And straighten it. No, 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 no. Oh, we gotta see where my seat's gonna be. I didn't think about that. We are short on line a little bit. We'll make it through, but actually, yeah, we can, yeah. we can use the stock line and cut it at a longer length. And then re-bend that essentially. That that's what Yeah, I know. I was thinking about opening the garage. We're good. Oh look at that! Hey! Fucking fabulous little bastard. I can... Yeah, you just gotta bend that in there. Literally just bend it in there. Wow. Okay, behind the carpet. Slowly maneuver. Oh jeez. <laughs> This sucks. <laughs> what the fuck is playing? And through the grommet. It's in the hole. Damn, look at that. Night filming is a pain in the ass. Well, you don't really fucking chrome plate over threads. Yeah, 
Pretty I, I was looking at that. Again, eBay. I su suspected we were gonna have problems just cause eBay. So the threads are bad, like we predicted. It's they chrome plated over the threads. You don't do that kind of a no -no. because then it changes the thread size and it really fucks them up. So we are trying to cut through that chrome paint or whatever it is and just get one down in there. If we can't, then we just have to go buy that size tap and tap it through. Okay, so we're just gonna force it in there and not advisable. if not advisable. <laughs> If this doesn't work and it starts leaking later, I will put some thread tape on it to see if that helps. And if that doesn't work, then I'll go in there and re-tap it myself and do it the proper way it was supposed to be done in the first place. So as long as you know what you're doing with a job like this, I mean, we really don't really know exactly what we're doing, but we but know at it. At the same we, time, it's not really much of a consequence yeah, if we fuck it up. Yeah, we know, we know enough to get the job done Semi right. So they they chrome plated it. That's not what you do. But we're making progress with it, and uh, we're actually making a lot better progress than I thought this was gonna go. I thought we were gonna really have to cut the car up pretty bad, but luckily, <laughs> it's hot in the garage, so we opened that. That that was a relief. But uh, okay, I'm gonna get back to helping Hunter. Okay, so. So we are having the problem we thought we were gonna have. Uh, we're only getting three to four threads into the actual um, into the actual into the actual master cylinder. And so what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to Walmart, go in the hardware section, and find a three sixteenth by something tap and a quarter inch by something tab. Whatever the thread pitch is. So whatever that is, then we're gonna tap it from there and clear the threads out. Hey Hunter, what's our status? It's fucking midnight and I hate the world. So we just got back from going to my grandpa's shop. Uh, we went to Meyer because that's the only place open. We checked AutoZone. Nobody has this tap that we're looking for. So my advice to you, if you're gonna get this e-brake, um, make sure you have the taps available to re-tap the hole. Or make sure that you find it from a company that doesn't chrome plate the fucking threads. Yeah, because that, that's what's causing this whole ordeal Sorry. right now. That's why we need a tap to take this chrome crap off. <laughs> Keep going the same way. I want to know if I'm making progress or just ruining it. It's going in, but yeah, blow that out. So, I mean, we're essentially using this as like a mini tap. Not what it's really made for, but it's working. It's not really working either. <laughs> a little bit. Well, if there's shavings... Just don't do what we do. Do it right. Yeah, make sure you have the right taps for this. Make sure you just buy quality shit. Yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> like a, I'll say it again. If it wasn't this fucking chrome that they sprayed over the threads, which is really retarded, we would not be having this problem right now. So what has happened is the thread literally got stuck and the bolt round the the nut rounded off. So now we gotta cut the brake line and do our own shit, shit. because yeah, it'll be it, fun. It, all because of the fucking chrome. Oh. Well, we figured out the problem we've been having. <laughs> the output <laughs> is standard and the input is in metric. One's, one's metric and the other's fucking American. One's an M10 by 125, and the other's a 3.8 by 24. Make sure you know what you're getting what into <laughs> before you just waste a bunch of time like we did. I just, just wasted a quarter of a gallon of, I just wasted a quarter tank of gas. 
it's so, like, it's like five Like pounds. I was saying earlier, I ate my own words. Go the extra mile to save yourself some time. I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> so let's go get a tap hunter <laughs> that might not be there. <laughs> Our adventure has taken an amazing turn. This is our fucking luck tonight. This is what happens when you try to make an installation video. <laughs> okay, so. so we went to the shop, back to the shop to try and find the correct tap because we figured it out. We figured it out. And we came here to grab the correct tap. Well, I forgot my keys because I'm tired. So we just both kind of looked at each other. Okay, I guess we're coming back. And Hunter decided to do a donut in the field just to say fuck it. And uh, he kind of piled, his exhaust popped out. And uh, this happened. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Never let somebody tell you that you can't do something. Because we're gonna fucking do. We're gonna fucking do this. It's gonna be done. <laughs> I don't know when, but it'll be done. Peace out. <laughs>